Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So I've been spending a lot of time working on basically um, using the sprue glue to remove the, the seam lines to where the two parts come together. On the top here there is a line that runs right where the two join together. So what I did was using the sprue glue, um, I let it set and then I let it cure overnight and then I basically sanded it away. I put two pieces of tape alongside of it so I wouldn't disturb the other seam lines as I sanded it. And I basically um, just used from a grit of I think around 200 to 500 to 1000 and then buffing it with one of these um, nail file sticks. Um, got it to where it was smooth and then I rescribed the line on here um, using this uh, plastic scriber. Um, so this thing works really good. It is easy to dig in a little bit too much into the um, into the plastic with this if you use too much pressure. So just basically very lightly kind of um, going over that line and then using um, guide tape um, is what I was using for that. So I put this guide tape down and then just very lightly basically scoring it using the weight of the scriber to get that part in there. I was able to um, get that. And how I would check it was I used um, the Tamiya uh, panel line accent color black just to make sure that I had a line going all the way across. Um, so that's why you kind of see me. Um, checking there and you can kind of see where I've like you know sanded um, over the top there so the sprue goo works really really great um, I do think that you need to let it sit overnight if you're going to be sanding and rescribing it um, that's kind of the feeling that I get from it um, I didn't do this on the first try this took me a couple tries to get it um, and this is something that I'm working on more to get better at is sanding and rescribing so um, by all means, I'm not claiming to be an expert on it, but I'm um, just trying to get better. Um, so I got that. As you can see, I started doing the windows um, up here, um, and I wanted to get this pole uh, glued in. So what I did was, what I'm trying to do is, since it comes out of the canopy, I used just some white glue um, so that it wouldn't fog the canopy up, and then I glued it in place, and then I put the the glass this isn't glued on I just have it taped on just to kind of glue it into the right spot and then I might come in with some cement afterwards um, so that way I can paint everything and then just plop the canopy on once I'm done masking and everything so I'm gonna give that a shot um, and then on the bottom you can kind of see like I was rescribing if you remember from last time um, you know I joined the two together there were some gaps So using the sprue goo, I, um, you know, did all of that. And uh, these little black lines are just kind of where I'm checking with the panel line to make sure that um, I was getting a full line. So um, that's where we're at. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. It, like I said, I'm still trying to get better at rescribing and that type of thing. But, um, you know, pretty happy with that. Uh, and then I just used um, Milliput for the wheel wells here because there were some pretty big gaps in there. Um, so I just used that um, and that worked out really good. Uh, no complaints on that. I really enjoy using Milliput. Well, I mean, I guess I can't say I really enjoy it, but um, you know, it's good to work with in, in those types of situations. And then put on the, the back um, tail wheel here, the arrestor hooks up there. Um, and I think pretty good um, as far as Getting all the work done. I used Mr. Um, Surfacer on the wing roots here, as you can see. Um, it took me two or three applications, but I was able to get that done. And I just basically put a decent amount in there, and um, I just uh, used lacquer thinner with the cube bud to clean up the areas around the seam. Because you want to make sure that you get enough in there to where it, it goes in and fills it up. Um, same thing on the back here. So I think we're pretty much all set with all of the, the body work on this. 
I have to finish masking the canopy, obviously. Um, so that's going to take a little bit because there's a lot of windows here, but um, moving right along. Um, another thing that I was looking into was, um, and you might remember me talking about this from last time, was the, the colors of the island down here and the color of the, the cowling and everything. So it comes down to, it's kind of a black-blue color. Um, it's, from my research, it looks like it's comparable maybe to a sea blue from Tamiya. Um, but what ended up happening with some of the planes as they weren't um, getting as well maintained is they would start to fade from the sun. Um, so it started off with this very black with a hint of blue in it um, on the island and on the front cowling. But as the sun would constantly like beat in there, it actually faded the color out a little bit. Um, and it turned it almost like maybe like more of a gray color. Um, so with that in mind, I was just going to paint it that original color. But since I'm going to be doing some weathering with, um, you know, hairspray and making it look a little bit worn, I think that I should also take the same effort on the, uh, the island inside. So I think I'm going to go with uh, a natal black um, to just kind of show that little bit of fading in there. And then maybe with the cowling, that would have been something that would have been, you know, more maintained. Um, probably would have painted it more and I'll link the article in the description if anybody wants to read about this stuff because um, I show some examples of how the paint faded over time. Um, so the cowling I might have closer to that original color with some um, some new chipping on it. So um, that's kind of the angle that I'm going to go with it. Um, so just want to give an update, show you where I'm at. Uh, getting pretty close here to getting to some of the more creative fun stuff like the painting and all that. So. Uh, appreciate you checking out the video. This is Joe from Joe K Models.